Hi guys, it's me again, and uh, I'm getting ready for work. I'm about to leave the house. I'm putting on my knee braces for the day because my left knee is being slippy. I don't like it. So I'm going to put my big knee brace on the knee that hurts, and then the little knee brace on the opposite knee because I feel like if I don't, it throws me off. So if you hear Velcro, that's what's happening. I'm trying to multitask here because I've only got so long. <laughs> So, uh, but I wanted to jump on today and talk about really quick um, getting judged by people because I saw on YouTube, there was some other YouTubers with chronic pain conditions that were, some of the videos I was watching, they were very, very upset by people not understanding. And I totally get that. Um, I don't really experience it very much because I'm not a social butterfly <laughs> and my family gets it like they understand what's going on so I don't really have to explain it to my family much though I will say I do find myself hiding it from my family sometimes because I don't want them to worry and I don't want them to be concerned about it if it's especially if it's something minimal if it's something major I'll obviously tell my husband and and we'll do what we have to do. But like days like today with my knee brace, I, I'm out here anyway. I'll just bring it outside with me and put it on. I'll probably take it off before I get home because I don't want him to worry. Um, but that's for him, not for me. I'm not hiding it because I'm embarrassed or anything. I'm just hiding it because I don't want him to be overly concerned about something small. But as far as the judgy people are concerned, I have not personally experienced a lot of those prejudices like I, I don't have a handicap placard so I've never had somebody come and harass me about that um, and I can just imagine how sucky that would feel <laughs> kind of breaks my heart a little bit um, but I will say that I do have people tell me I, do, I notice every once in a while that people look at me like weird or I have people tell me that I'm being lazy or people look at me and I can tell that that's what they're thinking when they look at me um, but at the same time, I have a, here's an example, weird example, but it fits. I have purple freaking hair, right? I have purple and blue hair, which in my area, I don't really notice that anybody has an issue with it. But when I go, say, back to my hometown, which is in South Dakota, and there's not exactly a lot of this happening, um, my mom and sister told me that I get stared at a lot. I honestly don't notice. I don't notice that I get scared, stared at. I don't pay attention because the general public's opinion, it doesn't really matter to me. I don't care. So if I don't care about their opinion, I never really notice that they stare. But my, my family says that people stare all the time. And even my husband, when we go back to his hometown, has noticed that people stare at my hair. Not even about my, dis my, my condition or anything like that or me being, you know, sitting down or anything. It's... They stare at my hair. So I'm used to being stared at. Um, I've had this hair for coming up on five years now. Um, and I just simply don't care. I don't care enough to notice that people are looking me, looking at me in a judgy way. So when it comes to the pain or like days where I'm wearing two knee braces, <laughs> um, I'm sure that people look, I'm sure that people go, oh, she wasn't wearing that yesterday or I'm sure that there's some people that think I'm doing it for attention or whatever their opinions are. I simply don't care. And honestly, I feel like it boils down to, um, I feel like there's a difference between prejudice and discrimination and just straight ignorance. Um, in this day and age, I mean, they're not excusable, any of them. Um, and you know, ignorance is something that can be solved by educating yourself. But not anybody, not everybody's heard of a lot of these things that, that these invisible illnesses, because you just don't see them every day. So I understand that I don't look like I'm in pain, and I intentionally don't look like I'm in pain most of the time because I'm a massage therapist. I don't have time to look in pain, and I don't want sympathy from my clients. I'm there to treat them. I don't want them worried about me. So. I'm very open about my hypermobility and my issues that I have. Um, when clients ask me about my knee braces or my 
elbow braces or whatever, I happily answer their questions because the only way to combat illness or uh, ignorance is with education. The only way for people to not be ignorant is for them to learn. And sometimes the only opportunity that they have to learn is by coming across somebody with that issue. So I'm happy to answer questions to people that want to know. Um, but I think that a lot of times people judge or even approach and come and say something because they don't know that there are invisible disabilities. Everybody just assumes that a disability is an obvious visual thing. You're in a wheelchair, you're, you know, you've got some assistance or medical help or whatever. They think that you should be able to see every single disability. And people don't realize that there are conditions out there that are not visible, that you can't see, or ones that change from a day-to-day -day basis, where today I'm wearing knee braces, tomorrow I'm wearing elbow braces. Like, they don't understand. And so that's just ignorance. That's not that they're judging me because they know and they still judge me. They judge me because they don't know. And it's, you can only view the world in the perspective of what you already know. So you can't look at the world and understand everything if you've never experienced or come across that before. So I guess maybe I'm just forgiving in that way, um, which I don't know if I should or shouldn't be. All I know is that in being forgiving and tolerant of ignorance, I find that I am less emotionally affected by those things. I mean, I've been told by family members, God, she's so lazy. Why are you so lazy? You don't know, so I don't care. <laughs> If you want to know, I'm happy to explain it to you, but if you want to judge me and then be blissfully ignorant, I don't have time for you anyway, so I, I guess I just don't care about people's opinions or thoughts. Um, that may change once I get to the point of needing assistance, but uh, I do know that I get judged. I do have people that do come and say things to me, not so much about like handicap placards or anything like that, but about being lazy about why do you need to rest so much? Why are you sitting all the time? That kind of stuff. And I'm just like, oh, cause I'm tired. Oh, cause it was a long day. Like, I don't need to explain it to people. And if they wa really wanna know, they wouldn't come to me all accusy. Like, why are you so lazy? They would come to me and go, you seem really tired. Is, is there something wrong? Like, that's how I know people wanna know. But if they just throw out that judgy banter, I don't have time for that nonsense. So I just don't, I don't waste any energy on it and I'm certainly not going to let it affect my emotional state. I'm gonna be happy today because I get to be up today and you cannot rain on my parade. <laughs> so as long as I can still function, I'm usually in a pretty good mood because I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to be fully functional. So I wanna appreciate those days and be damned if I'm gonna let some ignorant person or just some generally hateful person rain on my day. I'm gonna have a good day. So you you can call me lazy if you want, you can call me selfish if you want because I'm sitting in a you know handicap chair or something like that for, for whatever reason. I don't care about what ignorant people think and I certainly don't care about what prejudiced people think. So I guess that's just me. Maybe it, it comes with age because <laughs> I'm older. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm 38 and I just, I think I'm beyond the point of giving a crap. I dyed my hair at 35, I think. Or no, younger than that. Probably 33, 34. I dyed my hair purple. So, I mean, people's judgments just don't matter to me. So I, I hope that others who are struggling with that um, learn to accept that people are just ignorant because they don't know any better. And if you look inside yourself, I think you'll find that you're ignorant a lot about a lot of things too. And you would hope for a little bit of tolerance and understanding of that. So everybody's got their ignorant things. Everybody's got the things that they just simply don't know about. And so you approach it from a place of not knowing. And sometimes that comes across as being a jerk, but you just don't know. And I know I've been in that position um, as somebody with a chronic illness, I've been put in that position as, as somebody who didn't know, and I've been put in the position of being the person being judged. So I've, I've seen both sides and I get it. You know, it's, it's like when I, I go to move something of my husband's and he says, oh, I was going to use that. And I go, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. 
I didn't know. I didn't know that you wanted it. So I just assume that people don't know and then it doesn't bother me <laughs> so much, I guess. Um, and I know this is rambly, but I hope it helps somebody that feels like the world is judging them. Um, I used to feel like everybody was judging me and then I realized it doesn't actually affect my life or my day. So I know that there's still people out there judging me. I just simply don't acknowledge that it's happening most of the time. I mind my business, I do my thing, I make sure my family's taken care of, and that's my, my priority in life. Uh, not pleasing the whole world or explaining my situation to every single person that has a judgy issue and wants to just be douchey. <laughs> I don't, those people aren't my responsibility. So uh, I'm happy to educate if somebody wants to know, but as far as taking it upon myself to educate people who were just being judgy, I, I don't bother. Um, I'll maybe do it through videos at some point, but as of right now, for me personally in my life, uh, I've let go of caring about what people think. And it's quite liberating, uh, I'm here to tell you, because I used to be quite the worry wart and always concerned about what people thought, or if people were happy, or if I was making somebody else uncomfortable. Um, I don't care about that anymore. I've got a really good circle of people around me that totally get me, and so I don't have to explain myself to those people. And those are the people that are important. Those are the people whose opinions I care about. Other people, nah, I don't care. So. Again, I know this was rambly, but I hope it helps somebody. Um, and if you have any comments or replies or rebuttals, uh, I'd love to hear them. Because again, there's some situations that I have not been in, but I have gotten my fair share of, of judgment. And I think that us being able to tell each other about it and, and tell each other, you know, somebody who understands where you're coming from is very therapeutic as well. So share in the comments, we'll all help each other. And, and I hope that, uh, it helps to, to make you feel a little bit less attacked all the time because it's that's a very negative place to be and when we're already dealing with everything that we're dealing with it just makes it harder so um, stop caring about the haters <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time